Hey, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't done so, why don't you hit that little subscribe button right there? It does help us out. On a lot of the modern consoles, we have an HDMI output, and that port can be fairly fragile. It's small, there's a lot of pins, and the center of it's plastic. Now, these ports can get damaged from too much dust inside of them and pushing too hard on the connector, or the console could simply get bumped. Unfortunately, this is not a repair job for the average hobbyist. The boards that use the low lead solders or no lead solders have to take a lot of heat to remove the port, and the traces can be rather fragile. And if not done carefully, you can damage the board. Not to mention, the pitch on the pins is fairly tight, and it's very easy to bridge those pins and short out the system. But in this video, we'll walk through an HDMI port change on a PS4. So stick around, and we'll show you how to get it done. Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today on the bench, we have another PS4. Um, <laughs> since the PS5 came out, it seems like a lot of PS4s have come into the shop. Um, this one has no video output. Um, the owner suspected a uh, bad HDMI port, and after looking inside of it, um, I agreed. Uh, several of the pins were shoved sideways, and um, it's definitely in need of a replacement. Um, so, without ado, let's get this thing apart. Okay, here, you can see here, you know, how packed up these can get. Now this dust is pretty soft. Um, if these come from a house um, that has a smoker in it, this can be very bad. Just like that. Oh, yeah, this isn't good. Um, here again, thermal pads. Um, this um, you know, our thermal grease is hard and cracked. You can see it. And this lifted right off. Um, so somebody has already had this board out. Um, but uh, you know what? We'll do our best. We'll uh, do what we can with it. And here again, I w you know you can see all the dust that's packed in and around the corners. Um, but you know I'll uh, I'll do what I can to clean it up and make sure things are right when it goes back together. All right, so our HDMI port is here, and I've got a bunch here that I believe are the right ones. Let's just make sure. Yes, this is the this is the correct one. Um, now, obviously, you know we're going to be under the microscope. Um, I'm sure it's hard to tell, but you can see how fine the pitch is of all those connections. Um, one other word of advice for anybody who's going to you know attempt this repair at home: these boards are thick and they have a heavy ground plane, uh, the copper cladding that is, is in this board. Um, also, <clears throat> the, um, they use uh, no lead solder, uh, lead free solders. And it takes quite a bit of heat to get this thing to move. Um, more heat than I, I really like. So what I'm gonna do with this board is we're gonna clean it up a little bit we're gonna use some extremely low melt solder. Um, and what we'll do is we'll come in, we'll mix the low lead or the low melt solder with 
the unleaded solder and it should make it release easier from the board. Now, the other thing is with the PS5 or PS4, the traces on the back side of this are extremely thin and fragile. If you start heating this up thinking you can bend it back and then come in with a regular soldering iron and try to unsolder this, all you'll do is damage the board. You have to use hot air to take these apart. So let's get the microscope out and we'll get moving. Flux is always our friend. And we'll probably have to turn up the heat on our iron. I put a heavier tip on already. I'm running up to 450 Celsius for the um, lead-free solders. Now this is gonna look like it's a bit of a mess. And, you know, on a certain level it is. But this low melt solder will absolutely make things easier. Like I was saying, it takes a lot of heat to get this stuff to move a lot more than I'm comfortable with um, a lot more than any of my hobby type training has led me to believe that be, would be safe. Um, And we're just going to kind of make a mess out of it on purpose. I guess it would help if we get a little light in the situation. And yes, we're just bridging this all together. And yes, this is an inexpensive microscope, but you know what? It gets the job done. So while there are definitely some nicer units out there, um, you know, sometimes you just gotta use what you can, uh, can afford at the moment. Now, once this is off, we'll clean up the board. We'll get all the lead-free solder off. We'll replace it with good leaded solder. Um, and it'll make the job of replacing it much easier.
There we go. Now it's starting to move. And it's out. Like I was saying, these PS5 boards, you really do not want to force. If this does not fall out on its own, you can damage it very, very easily. All right. So now we can turn the heat down on our soldering iron a little bit. And we will get some desoldering braid and some good leaded solder. That's good, pretty good. An autofocus microscope would be something nice to have. More flux, lots of flux. Flux is good. Flux is cheap insurance um, for anybody out just kind of starting out on uh, some of these kinds of projects. Of course this one's going to be a pain. But sometimes you just got to take your time, do it right, don't force anything. We'll trim back the um, Now they're all clear. I believe that's just, that's just flux down in that hole. Oh, that still has solder down in there. The rest of them are clear. Usually the flux helps the wick just pull it right up, but the lead-free solders 
they just don't flow very well. They're, they're really kind of a pain in the butt to deal with, but that's, When working with, you know, microfine um, components, you just can't rush it. So let's get this lined up again. All right. So as you can see under the microscope, it's not a great picture, but you can see it. We're all clean. All of our traces are in nice shape and our holes are clear. So we are going to put a little fresh flux down right there. We're gonna set our port in place. Probably. Okay. And as you can see, if we're down flat, we're lined up pretty good. All right. Now we can really turn our soldering iron down again, just because we don't need to be this hot. I'm going to stick with this fine tip. Oops. But we're going to turn it so we can use the back side. It's just a little silicone glove. Okay. So let's get back under here. Make sure we're flat. That port shouldn't, shouldn't rock at all when it's in it should be flat there are a few of these hdmi ports like the tall uh, xbox port that that will kind of wiggle even when they're in place um but the fat ps4 should pretty much stay where it should it's is put We bridged one, but we'll fix it. This is not a fast job. This job should never be rushed. I know there's technicians out there that have done a whole lot more than me. They could probably do it faster, but I'd rather take my time and do it right. Let me just pull that bridge out. There we go. Got a little plastic, but it won't hurt nothing. There we go. All right, that looks pretty good. So, since we're here, we don't really have to do this under the microscope. Let's go ahead and get our port soldered into place. 
once again, Flux is our friend. Now, it is rosin color solder, but it just flows a lot nicer when we add a little bit more. Sometimes, you know, these boards are so heavy, just sometimes you got to put the tip down and let the board get warm. Kind of like that. Now, I don't mind a lot of solder on the back side of the board. This is just a ground. We can pull a little bit of it away if we want. Um, but I've seen so many of these, oops. I've seen so many of these busted off the board that a little extra can't hurt. Here's our little tweezers. So let's go ahead and look back under the microscope and we'll check our pins. You don't need a lot of pressure, but you know, if you come in with the tip of these real fine tweezers and you touch one, these wires are so thin, you know, they're going to move if one's not soldered. Okay. That all looks good. Okay. So our board's clean, our new port's on, but now we need to deal with this. The, um, on all these boards, when they're a little bit neglected, you know, this solder paste gets pretty hard. It needs scraped out. and dealt with. I'm not scraping down on the chip, just trying to get off the, the bulk of what's around it. Okay, and then we also need to address this. This one you can be a little rougher with just because, well. It's a hunk of aluminum. Okay. Put that up. Now we can come back to a cotton swab and some alcohol. That should be nice and shiny when you're done. Okay. There's a lot of dust and debris in the case. So I'm gonna vacuum it out and we'll reassemble. Okay, I had to um, go and run and get a PS4 controller so we can make sure our new port is working correctly. And we've got our TV on to HDMI. All right, let's keep our fingers crossed, shall we? See what we get.
Hey, look at that. We got our, um, we got our PlayStation back. Uh, it's always good to see. So anyway, thanks for joining me. Um, if you have any comments, any questions, um, any input on my methods of, uh, you know, doing service, why don't you make comments down below? Um, they do help. Um, and uh, thanks for joining us. And please subscribe.